Hello everybody and welcome back to some Isaac. We are jumping in today and looking at a very interesting synergy that I found. I really wanted to do a fire base run for today using some modded items off of the back of doing a modded fire run on Enter the Gungeon and I wanted to use some uh, modded items from different mods. So I took a look and I did some testing around and in the process I managed to find a very, very interesting synergy. So we're going to go over sort of the setup here and I'll explain a few things as we go. I have loaded my shot speed here and give myself Cupid's arrow. I'll go into that as we get through it here. But first of all, show off the items. We've got Crackling Slag here. This will occasionally shoot a wave of fire, so I'm going to show you how that works. As we fire, you'll see on occasion, we fire a spare of fires in front of us. It's pretty cool. It also adopts tier effect, which is nice. You can get like herming on it and stuff. It's pretty interesting. Um, but if we just remove that item real quick here, and uh, then go and check out Gloriosa here, which is the other main item, Tears uh, will now be a bit slower, so we have a bit of slower tier rate, but they'll now arc and leave behind a jet of fire and inflict burning. So we can take a little look at that, how that works. So we'll fire up a shot like this and it'll leave a jet of fire, and this is why we've got lower shot speed, because it goes a lot, lot further and hits the wall if your shot speed's high. So we've got our shot speed low to make sure it doesn't go too far, and you can see the little jet of fire here. So you may think that this item with uh, Molten Slag would just, uh, Crackling Slag, sorry, would just make this happen, plus some rows of fire as we fire those tiers. But if we go ahead and give ourselves back Crackling Slag here, something really interesting happens. Instead, as the tier hits the floor, we get a way across wave of fire shots. And bear in mind, these two items are from completely different mods, and weirdly enough, it seems that there's a pre-coded synergy here, even though I don't think it... I think it's just accidental. And um, we've got piercing here, we've got Cupid's arrow, so that um, it'll still do this, because if it hits an enemy, this won't happen, it has to hit the floor. So therefore, if we have piercing, it'll always hit the floor. And as I said, our shot speed is just to make sure our arcing shot doesn't go too far, because again, if it hits the wall, it won't happen, and with default shot speed, it would arc too far and it would cause an issue where that would, the jets just wouldn't appear. So we've got the ideal setup to show this off. It's going to be quite strong, but I thought it was a really interesting synergy and just a really interesting find, something I really wasn't expecting. We are going to be grabbing regular items on this run, especially tier modifiers. As I said, the uh, crackling slag shots will indeed take on our tier modifiers. But yeah, I thought this was really, really interesting. And it's just like, it's just super, super weird that there's the, this seems like someone went to the effort of making this synergy, like actually, actually coding this synergy, but I don't think that's what happened. I think there's just some weirdness about how fire jets are spawned between the two of them, and it's causing, it's causing some really, really cool shenanigans to happen, and I'm very much down for it, and I hope you guys are too. As for the question of the day today, um, I was sort of thinking like, in terms of like, last airbender style, what's, what's your like, what would be your affinity with an element? What would be like your superpower element if you could have it? And what would you do with that power? If you could be like, have an affinity with Poseidon or have an affinity with Hestia. I'm sort of thinking of uh, Hades here now, but like have an affinity with one of those elements and get powers from that. What would they be and what would you do with them? I think that could be pretty interesting to hear. But yeah, as I was saying, I kind of wanted to do this run off of the back of an Enter the Gungeon run that I did with some modded items. For those of you that haven't checked out the Enter the Gungeon videos, by the way, even if it's a game you don't typically play, I'd definitely give it a go because there's some really, really cool stuff going on with modding in Enter the Gungeon right now. Some really, really interesting stuff. I mean, the past few years, the modding scene on that game has been blowing up. Um, but it's, it's getting crazy. It's getting crazy. But as you can see, this is what normally should happen. But if we hit on land... It's just very interesting, but this has completely taken over the ability to fire a straight line from ourselves. As you can see, that just doesn't happen anymore. We no longer fire a straight line directly from us. It's just, it's just interesting. I, I really am curious if it was a hard coded thing, because uh, the Gloriosa item is from, um, it's from Retribution, I believe, and then the Crackling Slag is from the Quarry Collection. So two entirely different mods, not by the same developer either. So yeah, I'm, I'm just very curious. As you did see there. There is a chance you can hurt yourself with the Gloriosa Fires. You've got to be a little careful of that. It adds a bit of danger to the run, which I'm actually kind of a fan of, because this is, like I said, a fairly, fairly strong run. It's not crazy overpowered, and we'll have to get some decent items to keep this powerful throughout the game. It's good, should be good very early on, and it'll slightly fall off as we go, because the fire damage won't scale too far without us getting some damage ups. But, still nice. We get a look upgrade here, and some tears up, which the tears up is... Very, very nice. We're kind of in dire need of a tears up because we got that pretty big tears multiplier down from Gloriosa there. But yeah, I'm really, really intrigued by this run. It's just 
fire fire items are always my favorite like i i love i don't know about you but i love fire mind i take fire mind every single time and some of you might be wondering why i didn't add fire mind to this run but i thought the gloriosa fires already set enemies on fire so it's just a bit overkill and i wanted this run to still be a little bit tricky even though it is quite strong i still wanted there to be some difficulty surrounding it i didn't want it to be a complete cakewalk really it was all spiders ah I'm going to hit myself loads. I've got to be really, really careful of that. I'm easily going to kill myself if I'm not. Basically, I just can't... I can't be standing where the tier lands. This is a lot of spiders, my guy. If, I, if I'm stood exactly where the tier lands, then uh, it causes some issues. There are some enemies on here that hitting them with fire is actually a bad thing. Right, I'll see if we can find a secret room. I think it's going to be here. I didn't actually check the uh, the up wall here. Normally, in the, in the crook of the L-shaped room, you get secret rooms quite often. But maybe it'll be this crook of this L instead. But yeah, luckily the fire jets that get uh, that get spurted out do not deal additional damage to us. That, that would make this a true challenge run if I had to avoid every single one of these, wouldn't it now? My god, that would be uh, that would be something quite tricky to, to deal with. But it looks like we're not getting secret room as of yet. I'm going to keep trying, though. I'm going to keep trying. Oh, there you go. That's that second secret room, at least. Wasn't expecting that. Um, oh, we got a top hat. Well, we'll save that for now, because at the minute, that's not necessary. I do believe these count as pots, right? Whoa. Hello. I did not know that I could uh, I could be seeing you. Shall I as a right spin down on my... Uh... Ah, no. No, I won't. <laughs> I was going to as a right spin down on that, but unfortunately, it does not give me anything good. It just gives me the umbilical cord, which I don't think is, is really that great. Dude. The enemies coming from these is not what I expected to see. Oh, that's what I'm that's what I'm looking for, baby. Gimme a burn heart. Yes, please. Yes, please. I didn't know that those specific um types of I think they're pots basically, like reskinned pots. I didn't know they had specific like their own drops. I thought they were just like regular pots but reskinned and they'd give us the same drops that pots would. I mean that's what you'd expect, right? Give us that, and here's our next secret room, lovely stuff. Unfortunately, not the best secret room we've ever seen, but Still, hey, we got some decent money out of it. It's not terrible. An item room here. Good old bag of bobbies. Nothing to write home about, but still decent. Now, we are going to have some trouble with these fire-based enemies here, because I do believe they'll be completely immune to the jets of fire. We'll actually have to hit them with a tear. Or maybe not, actually. Maybe not. Ooh, there you go. We've managed to fill our burn heart here. I was hoping we'd be able to do that shortly. Oh, my God. I walked into the room and instantly hurt myself by hitting the wall. Ooh. Now, that's, that's quite good. I like that. <laughs> I just, one thing that's going to be tricky with this run throughout, we'll do our top hat now, we've got enough. Uh, ooh, there you go, Tammy's head, we'll take that. In fact, ooh, Tammy's head's good, but Tammy's head is not affected by our shot speed stat, which makes it a little more difficult for the jets to actually spawn, as you saw, and that is exactly why we've lowered our shot speed. And I've actually lowered my shot speed with a console command um, from, I from Isaac Guru's mod, which means that um, our, our shot speed, I don't think, can be raised or lowered by any items. It's, it's just set at what it is. I don't think getting items will change it. But you can see the fire jets, they really scale in size with damage, so we could be in for some craziness and some real visual clutter down the line. Uh, we can take a look in here and see what's what. Um, arrowhead. Tears a spectral and a fire a fire a small distance away from Isaac. Travel backwards if they pass through Isaac. Okay, unfortunately, that isn't something we can really take under the scenario here. We are very much trying to uh, work at this. Oh, look at that. Dude, the extra damage from Tammy's head, if we can make it work, is pretty wild. We do get Cracker Jacks here. And honestly, I'll, I'll check out a Devil Deal because we've got pretty good HP right now. Um, Slick Spade is, uh, is particularly quite good. I think I'll take Slick Spade because... As I mentioned, the fire jets from Molten Slag should adopt our tier effects. Now, I'm not entirely sure because they're spawned from Gloriosa if they still will, but I believe they will. So we should see that the fire jets will sometimes fear enemies, sometimes Midas touch them, if Slick Spade works the way I think it will. So we'll, we'll just hope for the best here and see what happens. Either way, this is going to be a, a pretty good run. I'm going to grab all of these, I think. It's actually a pretty good value proposition to be honest we got quite a lot of bombs anyways so dude 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 what's with the troll bombs now you've killed all my bobbies my bag of bobbies is barren we got loads of our bombs back there and we even got enough for the shop as well this is pretty good stuff oh, i hurt myself with tammy's head oh, that's a bit rough that's a bit rough luckily we've got a heart out here to 
to get us by. A heart out here to get us by. I did see, I did see one of the um, slick spade tiers there, but that was only a tier, not the fire jet. So I'm very, very curious. Very, very curious. We got another half heart in here somewhere. I don't know where. Okay, there you go. It bounced around somewhere. I actually need to be really careful about using Tammy's head, because if I use it too close to the entrance door, I'm going to hurt myself with it, like, every time. I even hurt myself with it there. That That's going to be a literal constant of this run. We're going to hurt ourselves with it all the time. Ooh, enemies have a 50% chance to explode and create a red creep pool underneath them. The explosion deals your damage and can spread status effects if the enemy dies with um, explosions. Ooh, so I think it can spread fire onto other enemies. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's pretty cool. Thank you for killing that guy. I'll refill my burn heart real quick there. I would not like to lose that. Thank you. Okay, my Tammy's head didn't really help me there. My, my Bobbies helped me there, though. They, um... My Bobbies just uh, blocked a bunch of shots for me. Hey, there you go. It worked. There you go. It worked. Nice. I managed to hurt myself again there. That's that's going to be the, the, the challenge part of this run. Also, very interestingly... The blood explosions cause a fire when they explode. We have something very intriguing going on right now. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Tammy's head there going wild. Unfortunately, the fire jets do not travel over pits. So in certain rooms, it is a lot, lot harder to kill our enemies. Oh, bad hit there. A lot, lot harder to kill our enemies, but not every room. And I'm playing Samson here. The reason I'm playing Samson is just because I do like to vary up which character I play each time we do an episode. But also I thought, well, we're in a situation in which we're going to be getting, like, going to be hurting ourselves on occasion. So why not have a character that lends itself towards that being sometimes useful? We're going to lose this burn heart, aren't we? This burn heart is not long for this world. Although, the clutch, the clutchness. Oh, there was creep there. I didn't see that creep. Have that soul heart. Very, very nice. So here's a good room for this, because these, these some of these should hit the floor and do some wild stuff. Oh, dude, the blood explosions are kind of spreading like crazy here. 50% chance is pretty goddamn good. Pretty goddamn good. I'd like to get over to those, but I, I, I alas, cannot. Um, The shop is valuable to us here, so we'll check that out. Cyst? Ooh! Hold up, hold up. Cyst is 10 times damage on your first shot. <laughs> so every room we get one gigantic fire. It does actually use Tammy's head as that shot, so we can't use Tammy. we got a fire before we do Tammy's head here. The explosion's going crazy. The blood explosions are pretty great. Okay, down we go, baby. Down we go. Yeah, this is, this is just a very intriguing run. I'm having a lot of fun with it, even if it is maybe a wee bit powerful. Like, that's that's not always a bad thing, is it? But yeah, this. Oh, 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 in a room that's not got a lot of rocks. Now, one thing that would be interesting to grab is if we could grab Spectral in any, in any way, shape, or form. I imagine Spectral would be very, very good right now. Oh, we got a wee little sleepy baby. Um, I don't think what the sleepy baby does. <laughs> one penny for Nightlight. Not bad. Nightlight's not the best, let's be honest, but one penny for it ain't gonna ain't gonna complain. There's some big old fire jets there. Let's try and get a Let's try and get a little uh little heart out of this. I'll pop this open now even though we don't quite have the money. Ooh, cricket's head. Very, very nice. Okay, this is a slightly annoying room here. We've got to just Oh dude, he's this room's balked. This room's balked, boys. My bobbies are making this, uh... My bobbies are making this unpleasant. I'm just gonna use a bomb. This is... Oh, no. Literally the moment I decide to do that, he does that. I would very much like that red heart tucked away behind the, uh, the blocks here. Thank you. I really want to try and save this burn heart if I can, but... I'm not too confident that's going to happen here. Uh, we've got a Judgment, we've got a Hierophant, very, very nice, and we've got an Ace of Diamonds as well, lovely. Pop the Hierophant, obviously. We'll take the Ace of Diamonds for a, a tough room here, and we've got two wooden chests down here as well. Now, that's a lot of stuff. We've got Empress, Fool, Servants, for some mini Isaacs. We'll grab that. Oh, this is going to be a pain to grab the right one, isn't it? No! 
give me this card. <laughs> okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We've got some soul hearts to protect our burn heart, at least. That's very, very good, very, very nice. Okay, perfect example here. Oh, no, the crabs. Why you gotta be this way, crabs? Mr. Krabs, why? Where is the second crab? The crabbing is, uh... Oh, there he is. I can see him following me now. Dude, the crab enemies, man. Any enemy that has, an, like, an arbitrary amount of invincibility frames, it's not like a specific time. Oh, boy, do they annoy me. Here we go, baby. <laughs> That's just... That's amazing. We've got some really cool stuff that synergizes with what we've already got. Blood Splosion plus this is like... This cyst is really, really nice. <laughs> Look at that. But I, I am noticing the fire has to be very, very much like super on target to do um, to do good damage. A little bit of extra cheddar. Lovely. Ooh, what the hell is this? Rocket Launcher. Allows you to hold it and shoot a barrage of rockets. The number of rockets increases with the amount of charges. Have absolutely no idea why the hell this is in the shop, but I will uh, I will grab it and see. Now, big tier size up. Does that mean big fires? But yeah, rocket launcher. I'm uh, I'm I'm intrigued. Can I use uh, Can I use it on lower than full charge? I wonder. Seems like I probably can, right? Hmm. I'm gonna guess that's a no for now. <laughs> Let's try and get this thing fully charged and see how it works. So far, I can lift it above my head and rocket launcher, which is interesting. <laughs> oh, dude, I forgot about... I forgot about Cricket's head. We've, it's okay. We've got a way of we've got a way of getting money with this Ace of Diamonds here. We just need to find a room that's 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 juicy enough for it. I bought the rocket launcher, not even thinking. This room's good. It's it's enough. Wait, no, it's not enough. It's one penny off. I'm ruined. <laughs> I'm ruined. Okay. Let's see how this rocket launcher works. I I genuinely don't know. It just seems to say a rocket launcher and I can't use it. Might be bugged. Yeah, I think it's bugged right now, unfortunately, which is a shame, but it is what it is. Hello, good sir. How are you? I have some fire. Oh, no. The big shot hit the goddamn... The goddamn fella there, the bubble boy. <laughs> the blood explosion there went wild. And the item room's gonna hold... Hmm. Now, Dr. Fetus, I don't think this will work for us, but I've got to just see. Yeah, unfortunate. I do like Dr. Fetus, and I have had someone in my chat ask for a Dr. Fetus run every day for the past thousand years. I apologize to that person profusely. Uh, I'll get to it one day. But today is not that day because it ruins our synergy. What, what a... What an unfortunate series of events here. But let's go grab Cricket's head and grab Tammy's head back. This rocket launcher thing seems intriguing. I do think it clearly needs some sort of fix, and it very, very clearly should not be in the shop pool. I, I, I know the developer of this one. It's from the uh, the character that we played last episode, actually. But I'll be having words about the shop pool. That 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 is like my biggest pet peeve with Isaac modding. People putting mods in the wrong goddamn pools, uh, modded items in the wrong pools. Anything that deals damage shouldn't sp it, 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 it's okay there's a few because obviously champion belt exists in the shop but for the for the most part shop items should be utility and money orientated oh i keep forgetting to use my shot first oh this is just something to behold a sight to witness bear witness to me ow beautiful See, we're going to get to see that tier size coming into effect here. Does the tier size affect... I, I think it does affect our fires, yes. Very, very nice. Oh, hello, Krampus. How art thou? Indeed, tier size does affect our, uh, our fire jets. Intriguing. Most intriguing. Right. We'll be on our way. 
Yeah, with with Cricket's Head plus Tropica Maya, we've uh, or Tropica Mia, however the hell you pronounce it, we've we've reached a, a level of pretty good damage and pretty insane uh, fire size, especially for that cyst shot. The cyst shot goes quite hard. The cyst shot goes quite hard. Hard. Now these guys are over pits, so it's a little harder to get our fire jets to uh, take effect on these guys. With our low low shot speed, it's a little hard. With our range right now. Oh god, I didn't see you there. But it's okay though. You've been taken care of. Right, what we got going on in here? Vampire Killer. Extra damage and three Lament Hearts. Reasonably nice. That's plus 15 damage. Oh my god. Our damage multiplier goes brr. Oh well, it's not meant to be 15 damage, I see. <laughs> It was 15 damage when it's times by 10, so it's 1.5 damage. Oh, we lost one of these Lament Hearts here, and we gained a little baby. Goes nicely with our um, with our bag of bobbies. Our bobbies now have a friend. Oh, well, they did have a friend. He, the friend is gone. He he died a very, 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 very swift death. <laughs> I don't know where he went off to, but he gone now. The swiftest of swiftest deaths. Oh my god. The blood explosion is just so much fun with this setup. Teleports us to an error room. Not bad, not bad. I like it. Fill the room with fire. Like I said, the fires have to be pretty accurate, though. Ow. Oh my god, there's so many of these guys. I did not expect that. We lost another one of our Lamet Hearts. We got three of them, so that was nice, but we're losing them all. Dude, this guy will not die. Get out of the wall, you freak. Oh, and then I hurt myself. God damn. Not having a good time of not getting hit. <laughs> it is what it is, though. It is what it is. Okay. We are maxed out on damage now, though, from, uh, from hitting ourselves, which... Uh, Makes our first tier do 171.4 damage, which is a little insane. That <laughs> The fires do be big. The fires do be big. Secret room here, maybe? That's seeming secret roomy to me. There you go. There's just some bubbles in here, and I hurt myself. God damn it. When will I ever stop hurting myself? The answer is never. The fire earns us. We are a disciple of the flame. Fire is all. Right, these guys can be a little annoying to deal with, especially if they're side by side like that, but we got through them. Oh my god. There's a good room for firing off a few of those. Oh my god. The tear size. The flames just absolutely envelop everything. It's it's mighty beautiful. I was wondering how tier size would affect things, and the game was like, here, I'll tell you right now. We do have this corruption card as well, remember? We want to be using that. Ooh, that's nice. Pop the corruption card now. Oh, wow, Neptunus. That is not what I was expecting. We also... Got a, a good amount of keys to play with uh, these eternal chests here, which is rather nice. But yeah, Neptunus. Very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Oh, you bastard. Oh, dude, Neptunus goes hard there. Holy. Neptunus goes hard. Get out of here, boy. OCD. Rounds each of your stats except speed and shot speed to the next whole number. Rounds speed and shot speed to the next ten. I mean that that's given us that's given us quite a lot of extra like fire rate, definitely. I that's that's actually a really, really nice item. And then in a child for a revive, I certainly won't say no. Why not why not bomb this guy for another key piece? What what the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> Where the hell's that wait? We didn't get key pieces from those guys. That's strange. Are they like a special type of angel enemy that doesn't give key pieces? I've never seen that before. 
But yeah, Neptunus is going to be absolutely delightful to start rooms off. We are going to barrage and dominate. <laughs> I like it, I like it. But yeah, I'm really liking this trinket. I mean, honestly, on a, on a regular run, this trinket would be pretty decent. But on a run like this where we had really low fire rate and we were like... On, like, on the low end of the fire rate we had, we were like 2.2. It gave us so much. I just used my card by accident there. Ooh, interesting room design here. It's a cool design for a room there. I like it. Barrage, go! <laughs> oh, the blood explosion, man. The chain reactions. They go hard. I don't like using Tammy's head that much, you know, because when you use Tammy's head, you've then got to, like, wait a little bit before you can fire again, which I feel like actually lowers your average DPS by quite a bit. It's just preferable to just fire at the enemies rather than mess around with it. Oh, man. We just cannot see. I'm legally blind. Okay, we're good. I'll spot throw a bomb on these guys. Ah, I was hoping for a black heart. That's not a black heart, that's an enemy. See, situations like this are a good good reason to use uh, Tammy's head, but I think in a lot of other rooms it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Some extra red hearts there. Do you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll try and play this demon beggar potentially. Oh, I hit myself. My bad. As I said, that will continue to happen a lot. Lots and lots of red hearts to play around with here. <laughs> I just love that one half of the room just like is just inconceivable for what's actually going on. It's just it's just gone. Uh, I guess I'll take the piggy bank. I don't really need it, but if I'm going to be taking damage a lot, then why not? Okay, let's go back and and throw a few hearts at the uh, at the old demon beggar and see what he can see what he can give. We'll get some money out of it as well. Why not? Maybe I'll take the keeper's box actually. Two, four, there you go. We get a first payout, which is a very, very good trinket, actually, but not what we're looking for. I think I'm going to buy Keeper's Box, because Tammy's head's just too tempting to use, and it's not been that useful for us. So I think Keeper's Box, although I wouldn't say Keeper's Box is great, it's a bit more interesting, potentially. Like, it obviously doesn't, doesn't often sell you items. It most of the time sells you crap, but... There's a low chance it could sell you an item. And I think that chance is worth gambling for, right? Ooh. Extra little soul heart there. Do you know what? I'm going to play you like three more times. I am glad that I did. We got to fire it. So this is interesting. Ah, oh, I was hoping it would give us just enough fire rate to edge us over. But I think it's kind of like rock bottom where... Um, in order for OCD to round up to the next whole number, we we have to get past... So our real tiers right now was 2.21, I think it was, plus the 0 0.3. So they'd now be at 2.51. Uh, so we'd still need another 0 0.5 pl uh, and plus tiers before we'd actually start gaining any more tiers. So while you don't have a lot of tiers items, it's probably a really good trinket. When you start getting the tiers items, it's kind of a little bit of a waste. Because the items won't be really giving you that much of an effect. It's not a bad thing. Of course, you've still got better tiers either way. But you're just getting less of a benefit as you get more tier items. Oh god, that guy's still firing. I did not... I did not realize that. Adrenaline damage up for every empty heart container. That's actually reasonably decent. I do wish that Adrenaline's benefit was a little higher, to be honest. I think Adrenaline's benefit is pretty goddamn low. You've got to think that that's f 4 damage when we're, when it's been times by 10. So that's normally only 0 0.4 damage, which is not a lot per half heart. Like, I know that, like, it's, like, still damage is damage. But, like, if it was closer to, like, like 0 0.7 then it would actually be kind of more worthwhile to actually um, to actually purposely lower your red hearts and stay low. Whereas I think when you have Adrenaline Rush, unless it's like really early in the run, you quite often don't want to actually play to its strengths because it's just kind of not really that worthwhile. It's kind of like when you have... Um, what's that item called? 
the one with the it's the one with the Bethany challenge. Blood Earth. Blood Earth's never really worth playing towards. Uh, or, or even grabbing for the most part, simply because Blood Earth, like, the, the, the rewards you get for it are just not good enough. You, you like, the payoff just isn't, isn't what you want. Uh, unfortunately, neither of them are really that interesting to us. Let's continue on. Can't believe we've got Neptunus on this run. Didn't even go to a planetarium. The error room giveth beauty. These are guys. You can see that the fire is falling off a little bit. These enemies don't instantly die. I think the bosses seem to die quicker because they're like kind of more stationary and larger targets. It's a lot easier to hit a lot more fire on them. Um, okay. We need to be careful not to get hit too much on these floors or hit ourselves really at all because. Uh, Unfortunately, we're taking full heart damage now. Ooh, I do like that. And immediately as I say that, I take damage. It's because the shots arc. They're, like, so easy to run into. Lovely. Calm yourself. Ooh, bit of money there. Lovely. Oh, the bomb's just killing our brother Bobbies. It's just offensive. Ah, oh, I hit myself again. No, no, no. At least that was only for a half heart that time. Unfortunately, we have come the wrong way here. Oh, this guy will not die to the fire jets at all, will he? Still nothing to really write home about from the Keeper's Box. Keeper's Box is a pretty bad active overall, isn't it? It's, it's, it's really not that great. Oh, this being... That, that heart became free. That wasn't free before, was it? Or was I just not paying attention? That was actually my heart the entire time. I think that was my heart the entire time and I wasn't paying attention. I apparently managed to bleed that enemy, which is surprising. Oh, dude. We're doing just fine, though. We are we are rinsing through most enemies, regardless of the fact that we can't really see. <laughs> I love it. It's that first shot, just... The size of the fire jets is just insane. Oh, really? Actually, this isn't a hard room at all, really. It's just... Requires a little bit of patience. It's actually a cool designed room, to be honest. I quite like it. It's one of those kind of speed test rooms. Although, I will have to say, I, I imagine if you're at, like, 0 0.3 speed or lower, which is unlikely, but I imagine you might have quite a hard time getting through that. Imagine that isn't super plausible. Keeper's box, could you please... Uh, do you know what? I'll buy that because it didn't... It, unfortunately, it didn't, but they can pay out with their blended hearts on occasion and give you a soul heart. It's rare, but it can happen. And if it can happen, you've got to try. Especially when we've got money that we're kind of not using at all right now. It's just burning a hole in our pocket. I wonder where that term comes from, burning a hole in your pocket. Like, what, what, what was actually the circumstance in which that was first said and why did it become a saying? I actually really like looking into the history of, um, of, of sayings. There's, there's, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of British sayings. I can't remember any off the top of my head right now, which makes me just sound like a liar. But there's a, there's a lot of British sayings that actually came from, um, from when ch uh, like China was shipping goods to the UK. Um, and I, I don't know if it was just the UK or UK and, the Amer and America, but they were shipping goods and... They, of course, didn't know English super well, and so they would they would speak in kind of broken English, and some of the sayings that they said in broken English then got used by English people, and then have become sayings that people still say to this day, which I think is pretty pretty cool. It's just The formation of, of, of language is just a really interesting topic in general. There's just so many strange things and sayings that, like, have lived on, like, way, way, way past their relevancy. Like, there's just certain things, I can't, honestly, it's, it's so so annoying when you just can't think of anything to, to, as an example. But, there's, there's so many sayings that, like, the actual relevancy, the original relevancy and what they were referring to of the original saying just ha makes no sense anymore, but people still say the saying. I'm trying to think of a good example, but... 
Hmm. People are gonna have to leave some in the comments because I'm sure I'm sure you guys have some perfect examples of them that I'm uh, that I'm blanking on. This is this is one of those great great runs where I can I can just focus on chit chatting and, and like chatting shit about Isaac without really focusing on the run itself because the run's just kind of playing itself at this point. Like it, there's, there's still a certain amount of focus. We've not got the best HP right now. And on top of that, like, although this does kill things very quickly, it's not going to insta-kill every room. Um, so there's, there's still a somewhat amount of focus there, but I am able to get away with more than normal. Golden sack that didn't give us any more than one sack, but we did get an error room teleport, which I am particularly fond of. <laughs> Look at that fire. Oh, balls to you, my guy. That movement was not, not okay. I do not agree with it. Yeah. There is a red heart in this room over here. We should go grab that before we lose our burn heart. Our burn heart is uh, the only thing standing between us and Devil Deal loss right now. And although my hearts aren't, like my, my max health isn't great, I'd still be very open to a Devil Deal if one should present itself to me. I mean, I, I do like to play it a little risky, as many of you already know. By the way, I have to say, just, just, as, a, just as a slight sort of thank you slash comment on it, the last video I did, the uh, the one on the me character, just absolutely blew up. And I had like 60% extra viewership of people that aren't subscribed. Which is great, because that means it's a bunch of new people. Ooh, the flame shot. Yeah, another shop item that shouldn't be in the shop. But, hey ho. Um, but yeah, um, I had a massive influx of new viewers checking out the video. And just the video popped off and went like crazy compared to my normal uploads. Like, it, it, it had like triple the amount of views in 24 hours that the previous video had and the previous video did pretty well by my, my estimation as well so it did insanely insanely well so i'm really really happy about that so thank you guys and all of you that are new here because of that video because of some of the recent videos i welcome you i welcome you indeed i'm having a good time i've been playing isaac for for, for those of you that don't know i've been playing isaac uh, on my channel for a long long time i was actually doing it daily up until like about two three months ago i had been playing isaac daily since the release literally the day repentance came out i've been playing daily up until about a month ago uh, i only stopped because i was getting a little bit burnt out on it and i am still i am still happy with that decision especially now that i'm getting more views and have sort of changed my thumbnail style and stuff like that i'm, I'm actually still really happy with that decision i think i found a good balance it's it's giving me Oh, it, it's just, it's, it's, I'm having a lot less pressure to, 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 to make content. Before, especially towards the last few months, I always felt there was like this innate, ooh, electric dice is really good with this active. I always felt there was this innate pressure to, to like, like, if I didn't have a backlog of Isaac content, for one, creating a backlog was more difficult because I had to make twice as many videos if I was doing them daily compared to every other day. Um... But on top of that, uh, if I like, if I didn't have a backlog, I'd, I'd need to record a video. I would literally just have to, like, I'd be obligated. So most of the time, that was fine. I didn't mind. But every now and again, like maybe once or twice a week, I just wouldn't be in the mood. But I had to. And even worse, if I was ill, it would make things really difficult because I'd have to preemptively have a backlog just in case I got ill. And if I didn't have a backlog, it made things difficult because then I, I had to. Uh, record when I was ill, which I did quite a lot, which I, I really shouldn't have done. I should have just taken a, 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 a little bit of a breather and a break. But my commitment to uh, to, to the content is too much. <laughs> I really like committing to my channel. Um, I'm very happy with it. And I'm, I'm, even though I don't have some insane subscribers and views like Lazy Matman or Hutz or whatever, I'm still really, really happy with the, um, with the amount of progress I've made with my content. Take you out. Oh, this actually spawns Devil Deal stuff. I did not expect that. Interesting. I didn't. I didn't know that's the way that worked. Um, we're gonna go up, and then we're gonna use that card straight away on the next floor to skip it because Isaac ain't shit. It is an error room. It's a very basic error room, unfortunately. But there you go. But yes, I've been really, really happy with things recently. Ooh, how does this work? Okay, it just affects the tears, not the fire. Ooh, how does this work? Again, it'll probably just affect the tears, not the fire, yeah. Still, that's just nice, though. Bit of leprosy, lovely. Should have taken pentacles first, but oh well. Pentacles, when you pick up an item, there's a chance it doubles. We are getting some green fires in there, though, I think. On the initial shots we're firing, yeah. 
Oh, okay. So now that we've got Mysterious Liquid, we're actually fire firing out. You see that there? There's like some fire shots, which is what Crackling Slag normally does. They're firing out in weird, like, a, like one specific direction, which is kind of strange. Oh, look at this. Look at the speed. The speed. Oh, interestingly, we got a tier multiplier down from this, this technology item. But because we've got OCD... It didn't actually give us any tears down. Also, electric dice um, plus this box. Three items per use, potentially. Very nice. I like that quite a bit. Oh, man. This build's gotten wacky. I would have liked to have seen a few more uh, bespoke synergies to come out of... Um... Ooh, steam sail. Uh, not particularly useful. I guess I'll just take this. I would have liked to see more bespoke synergies for the, the crackling slag shots, but... Hey, her. We've had a fun run nonetheless. I'm not going to complain. I still got to showcase what I wanted to showcase and have a lot of fun with it. I'm sure you guys would agree. This is just, like I said, something super unique that I don't think... I'd say it's unlikely anyone has ever ran into before as a synergy. Because it's two items from two different mod creators, from two different mods. Both fire-themed that interact in a very particular way. That's, that's the bit that I don't get. And if anyone has a theory, any mod developers, anyone just that, that has an inkling as to why it might happen, I, I'd love to hear it. My theory is that Crackling Slag has some sort of code where when a... When a... Um, when a... What's it called? A, like a, a fire jet. When a fire jet is spawned, it is programmed to then follow that fire jet up with multiple of the fire jets, and then follow that one and follow that one until it hits a wall. So basically you get a line of fire jets. Um, I imagine that's how that's coded, or something along those lines. And with uh, with Gloriosa, um, or however you pronounce that item, because it's fi spawning a fire jet in the middle, it's then adopting that same effect from Crackling Slag and applying it to the Gloriosa fire jet. Um, and the logic's getting confused about where the origin is of the fire jet. That's, that's my assumption, but I can't really say for sure. Either way, I'm happy with it. Jumper cables as well, baby. Ooh, and you're hiding a little soul of Eden under there, are you? A cheeky little soul of Eden. Who'd have thunk it? Is this, is this room not a combat room? It is not a combat room. I will take my leave then. Beautiful. Oh, the half soul heart there that I missed. The tech and uh, a mysterious liquid are really very, very nice for dealing some extra damage here. I'm gonna grab that half soul heart real quick. Oh, you pooped out a coin. I guess I'll take jumper cables now. Not that it's gonna be super useful for us, but I'll have it. I'll have it. Why not? Why not? That's another soul heart. We don't have the money anymore, though, is the only thing, but the run's basically over. What up, blue baby? How you living? Or should I say, how you dying? Because that's what you're about to be doing very shortly. He's also bleeding. What What have we got that's applying bleed? Is it the blood splosion? I'm guessing it is. I'm guessing blood splosion has a chance to apply bleed. Ow. That throw and burn was uh, pretty good. Still can't really see what's going on, but it's not a problem. Thank God we got all this extra HP, because we've taken some major hits here. Oh, hello. Soul of Eden. Hen of Souls. The the other fire-based item. I've got, I've got no souls, though. I've got no souls. I can't use it. What does it do? Oh, it does fire out some extra fire jets. Cool. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. A very interesting run. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.